St. Dominic Church in Lakeview is well known for its stained glass windows. Yes, there's a great story about these panels of glass, but this video will cover the upkeep of these pieces of art. We all enter the church. We see the magnificent panels high above. But is it not true that most of us just see through the glass? That's to say, like not seeing the forest for the trees? Or in this case, not noticing the art due to the abundance of panels. Well, no one missed the scaffolding that has been erected in the church recently, catching your eye instantly standing there tall up in front. The question is, why is the scaffolding there? What purpose is it serving? The answer, time to do maintenance and repair to the panels. Those beautiful pieces of art must be maintained, just as one would maintain the pews, the flooring, the lighting in the church. The bright and wonderful stained glass panels require upkeep. The story is simple. The De George Glass Company was hired to remove the damaged panels, removing them with much care, treating them gently as if they were any other piece of fine art, then crate them, transport them, and deliver the panels to the stained glass art gallery for restoration. The first panel requiring attention is the one that started to buckle in place. This isn't easily noticed from the ground floor, but could be a safety hazard with the threat of glass falling. The buckling would indicate the lead holding the glass together had stretched and became distorted. This caused immediate concern and action was required. Now this is where I find the story gets interesting. The professional gallery chosen to restore the panels were parishioners at St. Dominic's Church. You may know them, the Lozano family. Here at the studio, they will uncrate, analyze, and inspect the panel. Once this is done, they will begin the process of ordering any and all necessary materials required to return the art to its original brilliance. Some of the original glass is damaged. The glass is hand blown and comes from Germany. It's important to keep the integrity of the piece as close as possible to the original that was first hung in the church so many years ago. This requires careful research and matching of the remaining pieces of glass. When I asked one of the artists, Paulette, how long it would take to restore the panel, she stated that the original lead used to hold the glass together differs from the more modern lead of today. It wouldn't be proper to mix the older lead with the newer lead of today, so the entire panel must be dismantled and reconstructed using all new leading. Dismantling the panel requires that a rubbing be made. A rubbing is accomplished by placing a large continuous piece of paper over the original glass and rub a lead stick over the outline of the art so as to produce a pattern of the original art. Then careful measuring and notes were taken prior to removing any of the glass. This will ensure proper reconstruction of the panel. Since the glass is indeed a specialty glass, hand blown from Europe, much care is taken to find replacement glass that will match the original art. Though challenging, Paulette feels that, if not the exact match, that a suitable substitution will be acquired. So the process begins. The panel is dismantled, the glass is measured, sized, cut, and then placed on the table in the appropriate areas. The leading is then placed using various sizes of leading for the different pieces of glass. Flux is carefully brushed on the lead and then solder is melted on, taking care not to overheat the lead nor the glass. Mudding is then accomplished. The mudding is a weatherproofing. It helps keep moisture from penetrating through the connections. Rebar is then placed across the panel to provide strength, enabling the panel to remain rigid. Care is taken to place the rebar where it will do the most good and then carefully tacking it down to keep it in place. Rebar is very important when replacing the panel 
after the restoration is completed. When the restoration is completed, it's time to call the George again, and then have the panel crated, transferred, and hung back in church. As you can see, much care is taken when placing the piece of art. The panel received the same gentle attention here at the church as it received in the art studio. Doing so allows the panel to be safely placed back into the surrounding art as it stood before. So the next time you attend Mass, or just dropping by to pray, look up and really see the art that is there, the beauty that is provided to us to enjoy. Help us relax, feel comfortable, and just maybe help us to be more prayerful. God bless.